So you've been thinking about acoustic treatment. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, and I've heard about something called diffusion, right? What in the world is diffusion? Good question. Well, it just so happens I recently did some acoustic treatment to my home studio. And in this video, I'll share what I learned. And oh yeah, I'll also give you my take on the whole egg carton thing, which is something you may or may not have heard about. <laughs> I had the idea that sound from my guitar would travel directly right into the microphone. So to make a recording, I thought all I'd need to do would be to just kind of play into the microphone as if the microphone was listening to my guitar. And while it's true sound is traveling directly to the microphone, it's also true that sound is really kind of exploding, going out in all directions and bouncing around the room. So yeah, I'm generating sound by strumming my guitar, but the mic is really hearing sound as it's shaped by the size and acoustics of the room. And every room is going to have its own unique acoustic characteristics. So every room will need different acoustic treatments. So this is very much not a one size fits all kind of thing. So in this diagram, we'll talk about three kinds of sound, starting with direct sound. This is sound that travels directly from a source to a microphone without encountering any physical objects along the way. A second kind of sound are the early reflections, sometimes referred to as sound from the first reflection point. And a third kind of sound are the late reflections. This is sound bouncing all around the room and is picked up by the microphone after the early reflections. So when you put these sounds together in the same diagram, it looks like this. So lots of sound bouncing around, right? Now, in this diagram, we're looking at how the sound is traveling from the perspective of the source. Uh, let's change perspective and look at the same diagram, but from the perspective of the microphone. Now, as you would expect, the first sound picked up by the microphone is direct sound. The next sound picked up by the microphone are the early reflections. And the late reflections are picked up by the microphone after the early reflections. So it's like this. Sound from the source is produced in one instance, but then that same sound is repeatedly picked up by the microphone at different times. And this timing thing is known as latency, meaning that late reflections are picked up after early reflections. Early reflections are picked up after direct sound. This is why you end up getting echo effects in a recording. Have you ever gone apartment hunting, right? The realtor takes you to an empty apartment. You walk around and you talk and you notice echo in the apartment and then you move in. Bring in all your stuff, you walk around and talk, and you notice the echo's gone. And this is because your stuff is now absorbing and breaking up sound. So this is kind of what we want to do with acoustic treatment. Reduce the echo that naturally occurs in a room. Absorption and something called diffusion are two of the most common acoustic treatments. In this video, we'll talk about diffusion. You know, basically diffusion is a way to spread out or disperse sound waves. Imagine throwing a water balloon into a brick wall, right? Balloon shatters and water goes in all directions. So the idea for diffusion is somewhat similar, but instead of a water balloon hitting a brick wall, imagine sound hitting a diffuser, breaking apart and being dispersed in all directions. And since dispersed sound has less energy than direct sound, it will have less presence in a recording. And this means you'll get less of an echo effect. So what kind of diffusers are available? Well, you have a number of options. Professional diffusers can be quite expensive. Some folks make their own diffusers. You can find DIY videos on YouTube describing various ways to do this. Some folks claim that a bookcase can break up sound like a diffuser. And I've actually noticed bookcases showing up in videos from time to time. But assuming you decide to get some diffusers, the next question is, where do I put them? And this brings up the notion of reflection points. So what are reflection points and why do I need to know about them? 
you can think of reflection points as certain places in a room that would cause sound to bounce back into the room. Needless to say, finding reflection points in a carefully drawn diagram whole lot easier than finding reflection points in a room. For this video, let's just say every room has its reflection points and they very much affect how sound is recorded. In this diagram, we can pretty easily see what is often referred to as the first reflection point. And if you wanna know more about reflection points, you can find lots of information on YouTube and the internet. And as the name implies, there are other reflection points in a room. And again, in this diagram, it's easy enough to see where other reflection points would be. So these are the places where you would want to install acoustic treatment, right? You know, it makes sense. In this video, we'll focus on the first reflection points. Here's the diagram showing diffusers installed at the first reflection points. Direct sound, not affected. As you can see, early reflections get dispersed as well as late reflections. From the perspective of the microphone, looks like this. No change to direct sound. However, early and late reflections are dispersed by the diffusers, and this reduces their energy, which in turn reduces the amount of echo in the room. So there are many factors to consider when it comes to acoustic treatment. A room size, reflection points, microphone position, various settings for the microphone, diffusion, absorption, and something called bass traps. When it comes to diffusion and absorption, it's not an either or kind of decision. As a matter of fact, I've noticed many folks use a combination of diffusion and absorption. And as you may have guessed, I have an absorption video as well. You may wanna check it out. Oh yeah, have not forgotten. Here's my take on the whole egg carton thing. So yeah, I found universal agreement that using egg cartons as DIY diffusers, straight up myth. So yeah, don't waste your time. Yeah, so please comment, like, subscribe, and check out the links below. Just for fun, I listed a few videos where you can spot some DIY acoustic treatments. Uh, and with that, we'll see you next time. I started. <laughs> that was good if it only would have popped. Okay. <laughs>